Hi, this is Anushil Chapagain. Uh, today I'll be presenting on the topic energy management strategies to offset load dynamics behavior using machine learning. Uh, special thanks to Professor Dr. Jamil Moshin uh, for giving the opportunity to uh, participate in this kind of uh, project activities. It was really a, a fruitful experience and I got to learn many different technology while researching this topic so moving along the outline of this project is basically divided into the problem statement solution uh, benefits of uh, load management methodology uh, necessary tools required to conduct the simulation uh, and we will be discussing some superficial uh, ideas on machine learning and I will be presenting my findings and finally uh, I'll be presenting the results that I got through uh, the simulation. So as we know that there has been a rise of distributed energy resources all across the uh, world. So there has arise an opportunity to uh, develop an scalable automation technique to uh, efficiently utilize green energy resources according to the uh, data from the 2019, we can see that uh, all these four, three different distributed energy resources has much greater proportion of the energy generated uh, in terms of terawatt hour and wind energy resources being the highest one. So um, with the rise of this kind of thing, like there has been a lot of excess sur surplus energy that is being wasted due to the lack of proper uh, energy management strategies. Uh, also, I, I would like to mention that the weather plays a significant role in the energy generation and the behavior of the consumption made by the consumers. So uh, there has been a need of proper prediction mechanism that can be included into the smart grid and uh, which enhances the better demand response management strategies. So uh, one of the solution in order to uh, achieve that objective is offsetting load dynamics behavior. Uh, here is the plot of the one of the uh, data collected from the smart meter of the home in Spain. Uh, it, uh, it illustrates the um, consumption uh, proportion with respect to the time and we can see that the highest proportion is during the um, late night hours of that house. So being able to predict energy demand beforehand, like it will create a flexible opportunity to shift the energy pricing um, and we can set some dynamic, dynamic pricing strategies which will uh, make the consumers more aware uh, of their action in um, creating the um, unnecessary energy consumption uh, which shall be decreased upon this um, offsetting strategies. Uh, from the peak hours to the up peak hours. Also, after um, like day forecasted weather pattern uh, will allow to predict the energy generation quantity, which will eventually play an important role in role in the balancing the load dynamics. Finally, the offsetting load offers an opportunity to make energy more cheaper as well as more accessible to each and every consumer. Talking about the methodology, like there is an Mm, the flowchart showed in this slide where we will collect the uh, data from the smart meter and we will prepare a machine learning model and we will train this data so that we can get a forecasted uh, demand dynamics which will eventually use to uh, offset the peak demand. So what are the tools required to uh, conduct this kind of uh, simulation. Python being one of the most powerful programming languages, it allows the uh, different libraries to be in integrated in the development environment so that we can uh, have a uh, easier uh, processing of the data sets like some of the libraries that are used in this project are Seaborn library, uh, sklearn for the machine learning and matplotlib uh, for plotting the data. So um, using these four different tools we will be able to get the data sets of the predicted model. In also, uh, nevertheless, like 
we need a fast committing device in order to perform this high-end uh, tools so one of the um, uh, topic that uh, that this project talks about is the machine learning so it is a process of training an algorithm uh, in order to produce and targeted output variable here we have said the our uh, output variable as the consumption and the input variable as the time and the weather this input variable is defined as the independent variable because it is um, initially it is not dependent with the consumption directly so this input variable are defined as the independent variable whereas the consumption variable is an dependent variable it directly depends upon the input variable uh, like at which time of day the consumption uh, is uh, at some certain value uh, also uh, what it what kind of weather at that instance of time the consumption is showing that pattern so it is a concept of defining independent variable and the dependent variable and uh, the machine learning offers the uh, one of the most popular method of the regression method in order to model the machine learning so target variable refinement uh, converging cost function uh, are the first step for the data processing so we need to refine our target variable which is the consumption right so in order to do so we will we will compute the different stat stat statistical um, variable like uh, the skewness cortices uh, which then will be further evaluated uh, whether or not we need to refine the consumption data so one of the first findings we did uh, for this project is developing the corre correlation dependencies uh, of the target variable y as you can see in the figure we have uh, created a heat map that shows the correlation between the uh, consumption uh, parameters like uh, we can see that the highly correlated system uh, is found to be furnace which is like pointing to the value of 0 0.51 with respect to the uh, consumption parameter and the garage door is being uh, is uh, is the least correlated value pointing at 0 0.03 so generation and uh, the generation variable and the solar variable are directly correlated to um, one since there is only one generating sources so all of these target variable are merged into one data sets named as consumption which shall be trained against the weather variable as a feature uh, input variable similarly the correlation between the weather parameters are also computed and as we can see uh, our different range of colorful um, correlation value which um, illustrates the dependencies between the different parameter like the cloud cover with respect to the rain probability with respect to the solar generation with respect to the temperature humidity etc so there is a diverse relationship between the feature variable uh, of the weather parameter and as you can see that dew point is highly correlated with the temperature pointing at the value of 0 0.9 and, and precipitation probability is also correlated with the cloud cover with a value of 0. Uh, for it and the cloud cover is negatively correlated with the visibility at 0 0.47 which signifies that it is indirectly proportional to this weather parameter so finally this variable um, as we have defined is an independent variable with the target consumption but with the help of machine learning model we can develop an estimated predictive model for the similar weather pattern so after that we are focusing on refining the target variable consumption so as we can see in the top figure the normal distribution plot of the uh, consumption data sets as you can see that it is not so refined as it is um, pointing to be as the positively skewed data sets so in order to refine this target variable we use the log method refinement which uh, significantly improved the probability uh, distribution curve of the target variable as we can see on the uh, lower uh, lower side of the figure so after this 
uh, refinement, the target variable is then important to the machine learning modeling. So after conducting the simulation uh, in the machine learning model, we have uh, we have been able to generate the different data plots for the actual data and the predicted data. But after the result has been obtained, we we uh, we found out that the predicted data is highly deviated from the actual data. As you can see in the temperature plot, the actual data is uh, highly densed in the upper region uh, in the value of 0 to 2 of the consumption target variable. But the machine learning predicted quite differently. And the predicted log consumption, like the predicted uh, range of the machine learning range from the negative value of the log consumption target variable. And also we computed the mean square error of the actual data and predicted data and it was found to 0 0.4, which was not that satisfactory. So from this um, uh, research, we, uh, we came to know that um, the data sets was not that of high quality and the method that we used um, uh, the linear regression method is not prop is, is not to be aligned with the consumption pattern because the pattern of the cons cons consumption data of the uh, normal residential house won't justify the uh, requirement of the uh, linear regression model so the conclusion of this project is that we the consumption data pattern is to be dealt with the polynomial regression model rather than the linear progression model and the uh, in order to refine the targeted variable we have to make sure that the cortices value should also be refined that's the major finding of this project and uh, after the refinement of the data sets this will allow uh, an opportunity to be highly scalable to produce other prediction and to be integrated in the uh, smart meter for being able to uh, integrate the dynamic pricing model to offset the load consumption pattern. Thank you.